Hello, today I'm here with a new video and today I am here with the first impression and I don't think I can tell you how excited I am for this because I ordered the two Melt and Beetlejuice palettes so the waiting room and the recently deceased so I'm going to do a look with this one today it's coming a video with this one in a couple of days I hope I will try so when Melt announced that this was going to happen. I was like, I want it, no matter how it looks. Because I have always loved Beetlejuice. So today I'm going to use the Recently Deceased. And this is a palette, of course, that looks like this. And one thing that I love that Melt has done <laughs> is like the plastic in the palette. It is... I don't think I can show you. It is like from the movie. I love this. So the recently deceased palette is the most fun palette. It looks like this. I just love everything. I love the print in the shadows. I love the background. I love the front of the palette. So yeah, and it even though it's plastic, it feels really like sturdy and it's quite a heavy palette. So it's going to be fun to use this and I think I know what I want to do. So I'm just going to zoom you in a little bit and then we get started. So I think we're just getting into this. I'm not going to talk about the palette that much because I never do because it's not just me. But it is... But it is it is eight colors in this one. I have already shown you this, but it's eight colors and down here you can see they are purple and up here they are green. So I'm actually thinking about doing one eye with the top row and one eye with the bottom row so I can test out all the shades. So I think that is just what I'm going to do. So I think this eye will be the green eye and this will be the purple eye. I, I hope it will be a good look. So this is always like so hard. So I think I will take for my green eye. I think I will take this one. Draw a door. This and put it in my crease. And I hope it will look good. And I don't want to ruin beetle use. But I think I have to. And I am. Ooh, love this shade. I think that Melt is really good with doing color stories in their palettes. But I often feel like it's <laughs> at least one dud in every palette. And Melt, this isn't cheap palettes. It's not a cheap brand or an affordable brand. So that always is a little bit risky with buying from Melt, I think. But I really hope that these will be good. And one thing I really love about Melt, they are releasing Beauty Bay really fast. Most of their things, not all, but these came out on Beauty Bay at the same time as it did on Melt's own site. Or, yeah, they had a pre sale on this first, and then were pre orders. And uh, then it came out for everybody. So, yeah. Okay, this shade. I love it. It's like the perfect grungy, mustardy. I don't know. I just love it. <laughs> then for my purple eye, I will take Bio, Bio Exorcist. This one in the crease. On this eye, and we will see how this goes. And I haven't tried to watch too many videos on these because I wanted to have like my own, made up my own mind about them. And I was actually first thinking about buying the PR kit, but it was going to be so expensive to get it to Sweden. So I settled with only the palettes and I think that was 
the best choice for me actually. It always looks a little bit funky when you're doing two different eyes in the beginning, but we're getting we are getting there, I hope. So I think I will just go in with the darkest shimmer. So I think it's this one, recently deceased and paranormal on my outer corner and then take the lighter shimmer, so neurotic and a little accident in the inner. And then I will see, maybe I take the other ones underneath my eye. So I will start with paranormal, the dark green shimmer on my green eye. And it's always the shimmers that I am most worried about when it comes to melt. Okay. How was this? It does pick up on the brush, so that is good. It feels a little bit harder pressed. But the color picks up good on the brush. Okay, this is better. I was a little bit worried in the beginning that it was going to be a little bit too flaky, but this works. <sighs> okay, I really like this. It's a really deep shimmer and it actually looks really good. I have quite a lot of fallouts, but here at my channel, we always save the base for last. So I'm just going to Take this and blend the edge a little bit. And then I'm going in with Neurotic, this lighter shimmer. And I am not going to cut or anything. We will just wait and see how this is going. It picks up on the brush. Amazing. And okay. This was a good shade as well. Maybe not the most opaque. Maybe we are getting there. Okay, I take that back. This was also a great shimmer. I always feel relieved when I'm using a melt palette and the shimmer shades work good. And the cat hair. Okay, I'm just going in with the darker green shimmer and blend the edge. And okay, this actually worked really really good. I hope that you can see this. I really... I really really do like this. So okay, I think recently deceased this one is a little bit darker than a little accident. I hope. I think it though would have looked cool if I have switched out and take a green shimmer on this one. But you know why? What's done is done. Okay. So now I'm going in with recently deceased. And I'm sorry if it is a little bit of a strange angle right now. This palette is like this. So I can't bend it back and I'm using the uh, mirror in this. Okay, this would have looked amazing with this light green shimmer. That is what I think, or I know that would have looked super, super cool. Okay, this one. I, I, I can't see shit what I'm doing. Okay, this might not be as opaque as the darker green. But if I just stamp it on. And one thing that I was most worried about is like in, I have three melt palettes. I have the Muerte, Vida and uh, Smoke Session. And in all of these, it is at least one shitty shimmer shade. So, so far this feels better, but now I'm going into a little accident and we will see. This picks up good on the brush. I am a little bit afraid that little accident and recently deceased ain't going to be such big of a difference. 
And do you know what? I was actually right. This is just like a tad lighter. But like nothing more than that. So I love this eye so much more. So I wish that this recently deceased would have been a little bit darker. But you know what? All the four shimmer shades, they work for me. Like it is a little bit of a difference between the eyeshadows. I don't know if you are able to see that. But as you see, this eye is so much more fun. So, okay. So far, so good. So I'm going to take away the fallouts, fix my base and my brows, and then I come back and we will finish the eye look together. And we will see what I think. I have two colors left. So I have Beetlejuice and Lost Souls. So I will fix this and then I come back again. Base is on and time for my under eyes. And I will switch it out for my under eyes. Yes, so I will take this green one under the purple eye and the purple under the green eye. And I don't think I have the right brush for this, but you know what? I just think we go with it, so this brush doesn't feel right. Okay, so I'm going to take the dark purple one under the green eye. And I hope I'm making the right choice. But I always feel that like this connects the look in a better way than doing it the other way around. Okay, I'm talking about connect the look when I have one purple eye and one green eye. But I think it like balance, balance it out. I'm just a little bit nervous that the green one that is going under the purple eye is going to be pretty light. But we just have to roll with it. So far I liked all the shades and I only have one left. So we will see how this works. I don't think it will look as bright as it does in the palette. No. It might like I haven't a sticky base under here because I've set my concealer. But I think I like this color. This feels like Beetlejuice, like... Dirty green and purple and everything. And if you haven't seen the movie, just see it because it's so freaking good. And I really feel that they have done a really good job. Especially with this palette to like capture beauty use. Okay, so I'm done with eyes. I'm going to put something in my waterline. I'm thinking about taking two different colors. I will see for mascara and take a red lippy because this is 31 days of red. So this is the finished look for my waterline. In this I used Piggy Bank from Colourpop and in this eye I used Screamin' from LA Girl. On my lips I took Lime Crimes Feelings, I think it is. And yeah, this is the finished first impression look with the recently deceased Melt Palette um, Beetle Use collection. And okay. So far this is my favorite Melt Palette because I've tried all the shades. They work really good in my first impression and I love this one and also this and this. Can you see what I'm pointing at? The one thing I feel with the purples, like these two purple shimmers are really really alike but the green ones, like this lid, is freaking amazing. I really really love it. And that makes me happy because it's all good shimmers in this one so far. Even though I think these two purples could be a little bit more different. So I'm really happy with this palette. I'm happy that I bought it. And I hope that the waiting room will be as good as this one. I'm loving this look. 
so happy to have a melt palette that works so good. I am going to try to do more looks with this next year if you want me to because I have planned so much now in December and I don't have time to film like three looks one palettes right now. I don't think at least because I, I don't think I have the time. But yeah, I really hope you liked this video and if you're not subscribed to my channel please do so you don't miss any of my videos. And I really hope that I will see you tomorrow because I'm trying to post each and every day now in December. So yeah, I really hope you liked it and I hope I will see you tomorrow. Bye!